Hey, what's going on everybody? So tonight is Thursday, um, August 31st. Well, it's about to be September 1st and one hour. It's 11 o'clock and it is Force Friday. Uh, well, Force Thursday, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But yeah, Force Friday, number two. Um, I figured I might as well make a video uh, because I'm actually going to be going to this. Um, they had this uh, two years ago when The Force Awakens was coming out. But I unfortunately was not able to go to that because I did not own a uh, car at the time. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm very tired right now because I worked um, a very long shift today at work. Um, I did take a nap when I got home, but I'm still kind of tired, you know what I mean? Um, but I am at uh, Toys R Us. I don't know if you can see it that well. on the. Uh, I'm using the front-facing camera on my phone. I'm trying to... Wow, this I cannot show this for the life of me. I'm trying to like... <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so, um, I'm at Toys R Us, uh, and if you guys don't know what Force Friday is, you could just Google it, uh, basically, I think it's, it goes from September 1st to September 3rd, where, like, every big retailer store has a ton of Star Wars merchandise for the new movie, and, uh, you know, The Last Jedi, um, and each store does a different, like, uh, thing, like, Toys R Us, I'm at this one, for example, because they're giving away a free, uh, t-shirt, um, it's a Star Wars t-shirt, but based off Funko, apparently, you know, Funko Pops and all that, um, and also a free poster, apparently, for the, you know, the new movie, so that's why I chose Toys R Us, but there's other stores like Walmart and Target who are giving away other things, like, they have raffles and stuff like that, um, and then the Disney store as well, but there's no real Disney stores around where I live, um, there is one in, like, a mall, it's kind of a drive away, but I've, isn't the mall closed right now? I don't even know. Anyways, um, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go in, uh, when they open in one hour. There's some people out, there's, I, th I thought there'd be more people, maybe more people will show up, like, I see a car pulling up right now, um, uh, maybe I came a little too early, but there's, like, a decent line of, like, 10, 15 people out there, I would try to show you, but, again, I'm using the front-facing camera, and I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, I can't really see what I'm doing. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna go in, you know, they're selling the new Funko Pops, they're selling the new Lego sets. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any Lego sets, but I'll probably get some Funko Pops or something. I'm not gonna go, I don't think I'm gonna go crazy, um, you know, in terms of, like, buying stuff. I'll show you what I got afterwards, obviously. I'll try to film some stuff in the store. Um, but yeah, I hope, uh, you know, I do hope a lot of people do show up, because, you know, it feels like, kind of like a Black Friday, you know what I mean, when there's a lot of people. Not too many, though, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I assume they closed at, like, 10 or something. I think this Toys R Us closes at 10, or maybe 9. I don't I don't really go to Toys R Us that much. But um, they must have closed a couple hours ago, and obviously they're reopening. You know, they set up every everything for the Star Wars stuff. Um, oh, they're opening up the doors. Are they letting people in? There's two workers that just opened up doors. What are they doing? Are they walking out? And they're... I have no idea what's going on. I would try to show you again, but... Yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that. All right, so... I'm going to be in there, um, and I'll take some video. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, be talking a lot on when I'm in the store on the on the camera because it's kind of awkward for me. I don't really do that, but I will, I guess I'll try. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so <laughs> three minutes already. All right, uh, I'll see you in a bit. I'll be in the store probably. All right. Oh, yeah, Jackie had a morning. Yeah. I read that one. and shirts. I don't even know where all this shit is. Where is it? All right, so I'm out of the store. Um, <laughs> it was pretty chaotic. Uh, I obviously, as you could tell, I didn't get much footage. Um, I wasn't able 
even able to like, you know, uh, f you know, put my face on the camera or anything. Uh, I had a, you know, front face camera, or not front face, you know, the uh, main camera. Um, yeah, I was just too busy in there and I had too much stuff in my hands. Like as soon as you walk in, they give you a big poster, which is right here. It's like uh, a bunch of AT-ATs, it looks like, and uh, TIE Fighters and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure which planet this is on, though. Uh, might be a new planet or something. But anyways, oh, my phone's falling. Uh, sorry, you have to bear with me right now. But uh, yeah, there was about uh, uh, 15 people in front of me, like I said, when, you know, before I went in there. Um, and they swarmed the Funko section. Um, I wanted to get the Kylo Ren, you know, he had a, with the scar on his face and the lightsaber. Um, wow, this thing is, keeps falling. Hold on. I'm using my, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I just, yeah. My, uh, what do you call this thing? Thing can be on your dashboard so your phone can sit, stay on it, you know, if you're using GPS. Okay, this thing keeps falling down. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to get the Kylo Ren with the scar on his face. And then the Toys R Us also has an exclusive Kylo Ren with the mask on, but no lightsaber. Um, I would have been fine with either one of those, but I think people grabbed all of them. Um, so I did get one pop. Um, by the way, I didn't get that many things, to be honest. Um, so here's the free t-shirt. I, I haven't seen it yet. I see Chewbacca on it. Like I said, it is Funko themed. Um, so let's see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, it's just... Like they let, like, you know, the first, like, five people, and then the next five, and then, you know... Um, so as soon as I got in there, like, they swarmed all the Funkos. But everything else, pretty much, you could get whatever you want. You know, the Legos, the action figures, they had plenty of that. It's just the Funkos got swarmed. They really should have put more Funkos. Um, so this is a medium, which is good because it's my size. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. We got Ray, we got Chewbacca with the bowcaster, and we got this new character that everybody's talking about, the Porg. I don't know if you can see that. There's the Porg at the bottom. This is Star Wars The Last Jedi. Pretty cool. Free t-shirt, so why not? And a little uh, rebel over my middle finger, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was um, <laughs> jeez, it wasn't like crazy, but you know, I wanted to get I wanted to get some Funkos, you know. I only got one though. Uh, like I said, let me pull them out. Uh... All right, so here it is. I got Luke Skywalker. He's older, no lightsaber action, but that's okay. So there's Luke. He's got a cane. Um, like I said, people were grabbing mainly the Kylo Ren's, the Rays, uh, Chewbacca's, and there was one Luke Skywalker left when I got there, so I grabbed it, and I said, alright, I'll just get Luke. <laughs> um, it's funny, too, because in a couple months, he's gonna be everywhere. It's, like, not even worth, you know, fighting for. Um, but I'm glad I was able to get a hold of this, because I think it looks pretty cool. And I hope Luke is a great character, you know, in, uh, this new movie, The Last Jedi. Um... But uh, yeah, and Luke is pretty much my favorite Star Wars character anyway. I do own one Luke already. It's uh, from Episode Five, when he's fighting, you know, Darth Vader. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I got a hold of this. And uh, isn't there like five different versions of the of the Porg, right? Like, I don't know what's up with this Porg character. I guess he's, I guess he or she is gonna be really cool in the movie. Um, there's a Chase. There's a regular, and then there's a flocked version at Hot Topic. And then there's a flock chase at Hot Topic. And then there's a Target exclusive with the wings out. So there's like five versions of this Porg character. I have no idea what it is. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't, I wasn't able to really film too much in there. It was, I just had, because I was carrying the poster, this huge poster in, you know, in my hand and also the t-shirt. And then I was looking around for stuff. And I saw something I really, I was like, oh, I didn't even know they had this. Look at this. It's a Lego set of... BB-8. Look how big this thing is. It's like uh, 1,106 pieces. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think bb is a cool character. And, you know, I do like getting Lego sets once in a while. I'm not like, you know, I don't get them all the time because they're pretty expensive. But on this, you know, on occasion like this, I said, you know what, might as well. Might as well come up with something big because I didn't see anything else I wanted, to be honest. I don't really collect, you know, action figures in particular. Like I said, I'm more of a Funko collector. Um, so I got the Luke, and then I saw this, I said, this looks pretty cool. They had a few other Lego sets, but I thought this one was one I would, uh, probably prefer over the other ones. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I can't wait to make, I'm probably gonna do it tonight, if I'm still awake, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, and then on the back, he's got a few features too. I, I wanted to make sure though, this thing had, like, at least some features before I bought it. 
Um, it does look like the head can move if you turn this little center piece. And then he's got the little, you know, the thumbs up <laughs> that comes out of him. And then, yeah, and it comes with a little stand too with the little, you know, plate on it with the, the name and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then also a little BB-8 figure. Um, I already have one of these little BB-8 figures because I bought the Millennium Falcon that came out with The Force Awakens, that Lego set. There's going to be another Millennium Falcon, by the way, coming out in October, which is, you know, the biggest Lego set of all time now. It's going to be better than the old Millennium Falcon one. You remember that one? Um, I would get that, but it's like $800, so <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. And also I noticed it looks like he does have the little flame that comes out, you know, when he does the... When he gives Finn the thumbs up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, this was like $100. So like I said, I didn't want to buy... You know, I wasn't going to buy too much anyway, it looked like. So I said, I might as well just get one big thing. So that's why I got this. And then to my surprise, there's also another free item. When the lady was ringing, uh, you know, my, ringing uh, my stuff up on the register, she said, Oh, do we have any of those free Lego things left? She was talking to one of, you know, the other co her co-workers. Um, it looks like you get a free Lego set also at, at Toys R Us. I don't know if it's just if you buy... Lego, like I bought that Lego set if you get this, but yeah, they gave out a free Lego thing. It's 22 pieces, R R3 M2, it's a droid unit, like R2D2 kind of, I would show it. But there's no like real good lighting in my car right now. Maybe that'll help, I should have did that earlier. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, it's a free, it's a free figure, 22 pieces, right? Yeah, so. So I got this, I got the t-shirt, I got the poster. I got Luke, and I got that big Lego set of BB-8. So I only got five things, three of which were free. Um, so, yeah, so pretty fun, I guess. Um, it was all right. Uh, it's just I wish I could have got more Funkos, but whatever. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this, guys. I'm going to go home, and I'm probably going to build that Lego set. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole video for it. I don't really do Lego videos. I wouldn't really know how to do one, to be honest. Um, it's like I would start filming it, I would stop, and then I would put it together, and then... I don't know, I, I don't think I could really do that. But anyways, thanks for watching this. And if you went to Force Friday this year, let me know what you got. Um, tell me some crazy stories. Were, was your store packed? Did you go to Toys R Us? Did you go to Target? Did you go somewhere else? Um, I actually... I would, you know, I would go to another store right now, but I'm sure they're they're out of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because every store opened at midnight, and... You know, everybody swarmed the uh, Funkos and everything else. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this, guys. And have... What's a good Star Wars? Have a... F have a fun-tacular... Force-tacular Friday. I don't know. That was, that was really bad. I'm sorry. But anyways, thanks for watching this. I'm going home. Bye-bye.